My child, when you feel overwhelmed by sadness or pain, remember that it's okay to feel these emotions. You are human, and these feelings are a natural part of your journey. However, do not allow yourself to be defined by your struggles. My love calls you victorious, for I stand with you in every battle, offering strength and courage to face life's challenges with unwavering faith. I want you to experience my presence in every facet of your life when you're bubbling over with joy, knowing that I celebrate with you. Your happiness brings me joy, as well as your well-being is close to my heart in moments of triumph. When you conquer challenges and achieve your goals, I am your biggest cheerleader and in those difficult moments. When the road seems tough when you're not sure, if you can take another step, remember that I am holding your hand with me by your side. You are stronger than you think and you can face any obstacle. Type Amen in the comments if you believe. My child, you have a purpose on this earthly journey. Your existence is not accidental. You are here for a reason as you navigate through life trust in my plan for you. My plan is like a tapestry woven with threads of love, purpose, and destiny. Every experience you have Every person you meet and every challenge you overcome are threads that contribute to the masterpiece of your life. When fear grips your heart and uncertainty clouds your thoughts, I want you to know that I am the rock you can cling to. I am your refuge and your strength with me. You are safe from the storms that may rage around you when life's winds threaten to knock you off your feet and hold on to me. And I will anchor you together. We will weather the storms and you will emerge stronger and more resilient your worries, your fears, your dreams, and your desires. I hold them all in my loving embrace. You don't need to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Entrust your concerns to me and watch as I work in your life. I have a knack for turning challenges into opportunities and for transforming pain into growth. Remember, I am the God of the impossible and I can make a way even when it seems there is none. Now I invite you to take a step of faith, open your heart to me, and accept the peace and love that I offer seek me with unwavering faith. I am always near, waiting for you to reach out in the quiet moments of prayer, meditation, or reflection. You will find me, seek my guidance, my comfort, and my wisdom and you will experience the wonders that unfold when you align your heart with mine. Type Amen in the comments and get blessed today. Today's morning routine. Remember my children, I am a God of miracles. I can make rapid changes to your lifestyle even when it seems impossible. God will open first-rate doors for you, instructing the right people to speak positively about you and removing impediments from your path. You must have faith in me and receive my benefits with thankfulness, for I am God the creator of all things and I will be with you always. I have chosen you, my beloved to receive my love, kindness, and assistance. 
I would rather give you riches, heal, and success here. I am standing guard over you, shielding you from harm both visible and invisible. I am able to fall for any wicked plots against you. You are my beloved and nothing can touch you. You have been born again, a child of God, a disciple of Jesus. You have access to the great riches of heaven, the promises of God, and the joys of redemption, because the Holy Spirit lives within you, directing, enabling, and transforming you to be more like Christ. You are more than just a conqueror or survivor. You are a co heir with Christ, a partner with God, a conduit of grace and an eyewitness to the truth. Praise God loudly. God reassures me when I'm alone. God is everything to me, even when I'm nothing. God is my hope and joy. When I'm lonely and sad, I humbly submit my thoughts, desires, and emotions to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I know that you have wonderful plans for my future and that you will provide life-changing benefits in the near future. I intend to help you financially open the door to abundance and lead you in a wealthy direction. Every day, something wonderful will happen to push your problems and sorrows to the side. Instead, you will be filled with immense jaw and receive numerous blessings. Please recite 111 in the event that you need this. If you have faith in Christ, lead our Christian network with a super thanks donation of up to $25 so that we may continue to share the gospel throughout the world. Amen. I am very grateful this year. God will elevate your life to new heights, exchanging your grief for joy, your battles for advantages and your losses for miracles. You are entering a fantastic period in which everything will line with your goals. I, Lord, grant you peace, recuperation, and triumph. Every air is met with grace, every setback with restoration, every loss with a new beginning, and every setback with a successful return this weekend. I may bestow many blessings onto you and your family, enabling me to alter your lives irrevocably in case. You openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe for your coronary heart that God raised him from the dead. You may be saved so consent with your heart to be justified and confess with your lips to be saved. This is your season of restoration. Prepare to be astounded by the overwhelming abundance. Let us come your way. Your prosperity, health, and success will reach unprecedented levels. You have a special place in my heart, and I love you. God always grants wishes and all that the adversary has stolen from you. Your peace, prosperity, and cause will be returned. If you would only say this with me, I've been crucified with Christ and it's no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me. You are entering a new era of liberty, plenty and abundance. The dark days are passing and the light of a fresh start is just around the corner. This year you may find yourself enriched monetarily physically, emotionally, and spiritually. 
I know you're struggling with money, health, and family matters, but know that I'm always working for your good. Today, I will shower you with blessings like victory, healing, and peace. Get ready for benefits that will change your lifestyle. Remember that I am merciful and gracious. God who loves you no matter what and who takes advantage of you constantly. I declare in the name of Jesus that in 2024 for God will rebuke everyone who tries to harm you or cause you pain. God will protect you from all evil. Remember that when we surrender everything to God, we store up treasures in heaven and unlock doors to prosperity on earth. It is not your own efforts that will bring about your ideal marriage. Rather, it is the grace and love of your Heavenly Father that will bring about these miraculous healings, restorations of shattered connections, and openings of doors of plenty that you have prayed for. No matter how hard you try in the process of surpassing all of your expectations, you will undergo a life-altering event and it will become crystal clear to you that this month marks a significant turning point in your life's trajectory in 2024 when you let your instincts guide you. You'll see the precise command that God has given you to follow surprising things may happen right in front of your eyes. If you're willing to give them your undivided attention and awareness, Listen to the advice your gut gives you when you're not sure how a certain activity will turn out and then choose the high road. Hello, my baby. Listen to your heart and make a decision based on it. That's the guidance. God gives humanity. I want you to feel enthusiasm for life again. That is the message God is sending you. Please remember that you are not the only one responsible for avoiding this. I want you to feel passionate about life again. I have a genuinely first-rate answer for you. Therefore, I need you to put your trust in me and put your anxieties aside. I am now reviewing your issues and have already sent angels to assist you in every way. I can without a doubt this is the very reason why you would be pleased at a later date. My first-rate resolve is about to shake your planet to its very foundations and all glory and honor be to the everlasting daddy. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate all the wise counsel you've given me, even though I know I am unworthy of your love. You have been impacted by me nonetheless. You are an inspiration to me in the name of Jesus. I beg you to hear my prayer and provide my loved ones with the resources. They need to overcome any obstacle that stands in their way. I would greatly appreciate it if you could keep an eye on someone important to me. Love finds its greatest fulfillment in the quest for knowledge, not in the payment for illicit acts. Wishes are not offered by love. Love does not provide tenacity love, abandons faith at no cost. Love is always there to defend, always has the right idea, and is always popular because it never gives up, never gives up, never gives up trying. Currently, your lives are under God's authority, and He has a good reason and purpose for them. Your hopes and expectations will ultimately come true in due time. The following week, we'll see an increase in the variety of advantages. 
that are intended to come your way, and this pattern will continue into the following week. As well, the upcoming week will bring an increase in the variety of benefits that are meant to come your way. God forewarns that there will be times when He will prohibit you from moving on to the next part of your journey, unless it is totally definite that the way that lies ahead is risk-free and free of any potential hazards. God will do this if the road that lies ahead is not completely guaranteed to be devoid of any potential risks. Be thankful that events have taken place in the way that they have and don't be concerned about losing out on any of the amazing opportunities that are supposed to come your way. Because you won't be able to miss out on any of them. You are about to enter a season in which the Lord promises you will be showered with many benefits and astounding occurrences. He has given his word on this. In addition to this, he assures us that the moment will arrive quite quickly. Make a public proclamation in the name of Jesus to the people of the globe that you are the legitimate owner of it, and do so. Amen. You are free to go about your day knowing that nothing but good luck will come your way. You have my utmost trust in this. There is no possibility under any circumstances that this could have occurred due to random occurrence. It is beyond comprehension in the very near future. A lot of wonderful things are about to start occurring for you and the trajectory of the remainder of your life is about to turn in a favorable direction. So be optimistic about the future. I wouldn't have created you to do the task if I didn't believe you were up to the challenge because I don't have trust in your talents. According to a comment that was allegedly ascribed to God the Almighty once stated, If I didn't think you could do it, then I wouldn't have made you. If I didn't think you could do it, then I wouldn't have made you. It is not completely out of the question that you will be successful in doing what you have set out to do to me. It was all down to the fact that you were able to make the most of this chance when it became available to you. Therefore, keep a positive attitude and know that there is no need for you to worry about anything because I will make sure that everything is taken care of. I will make sure that you have a joyful attitude. The book that God has written especially for you has not yet been finished and it was written with you in mind from the beginning. It is necessary that you do not lose up on your faith simply because there are certain things that are still beyond your range of view. It is essential that you do not give up on your faith. You won't be able to predict how things will turn out for you, but you can be sure that they will. This is what the Lord says you are going to come out on top of this battle and end up in first position in the overall standings. You only have a limited amount of time to get yourself ready for the important life changes that are about to take place in your life in the not-too-distant future. These changes are going to take place in the not-too-distant future. The secret is that you have already brought it into life in your mind and the process that is currently taking place is bringing it into existence for you as a real physical thing. The secret is that you already have it in existence in your thoughts. 
You just haven't realized it yet. This is how the process goes. The accomplishments that have been attained by the secret can be segmented into the stages that are described in this paragraph. God says, I am aware of how difficult it was for you to pull yourself away from the gloom of your state. I am conscious of the fact that it was challenging for you. I am happy for you because you put your confidence in me and because we were able to go through this challenge together. I am delighted for both of these reasons. I am overjoyed to hear that you have been successful. I am sorry that you had to go through that. I am aware of the mental toll that going through all of that took on you and how challenging it was for you. I am sorry that you had to go through that it has been said that no one can do anything by themselves. But if we all work together, we can make it happen when I think about everything that you are going through at the moment. It makes my heart feel like it is going to burst. I am very sorry. I would like to make the request that you bring all of your concerns to my notice and from that point on out. I will point you in the direction that is most appropriate for you to go. I am sorry. You will thank yourself in the future that you did not give up on me and stop trusting what I had to say. You will be thankful that you did not give up on me. I promise I will never leave you. According to the Bible, one person can't do anything on their own, but that we can be successful. If we work together seeing you fight her so much that I think my chest is going to burst, Please tell me what's been keeping you up at night, and I will do everything. I can help you. I know that accepting change isn't always easy, but it's necessary for me to get you where you need to go. I'm here with you, even though it's scary. You are the apple of my eye. Everything is going to work out even better than you could have hoped or longed for. It's like the universe performs a miracle for you when you choose to be thankful without expecting anything in return. Have faith in me. I have the power to help you overcome all of your problems and to guide you through the process of doing so. Have trust in me. I made the universe in six days and rested on the seventh. I am your God. I made the universe in six days and rested on the seventh. I made the world in six days and rested on the seventh. God says that this coming Friday will surprise you in a way that you had not planned at all. This is exactly what God says will happen picture things that are truly huge. This is how your life will be in every way in the future. Type yes if you agree. Following what God told you, your prayer was heard and an answer was given. Now is the time for you to claim it as your own. You have been waiting patiently for this for a very long time and it is finally going to happen. God has told you that you won't have to wait much longer before you hear some really good news. It will be a sign that despite everything that has happened recently, you are now on the right path. I need you to tell me what's really going on. Don't give up on prayer until your situation starts to get better. You need to believe that God will help you and keep reminding yourself that miracles do happen all the time. 
I have a general idea of how you're feeling now is the time to win the lottery and put your money where your mouth is, oh praise, your Lord and God. He deserves it because God's kindness hasn't changed over time. Stop being so negative and start encouraging yourself. Stop talking negatively about yourself and putting yourself down. You have my love soon. You will learn that God has opened the door you have been praying for the whole time. You already have everything. You need money, love, support, a nice home, the perfect job, and good luck. Soon, something will happen that will change the status in a way that is definitely good for you. Today is one of the luckiest days of your life, and the world is telling you straight that it's time to get excited about life again. Today is one of the luckiest days of your life. Relax because I'm about to turn your world upside down. Get ready. I have something amazing for you. You will receive some unexpected blessings. Relax and trust that I am about to turn your world upside down. Soon the pain and suffering we've been going through will end. I will open the gates of heaven and pour out everything you have been asking for and waiting for all these years. Comment Amen if you believe in God. You will soon see that the road ahead of you is full of chances for love, success and healing as well as fun new things to do. I can't do anything without your trust. I've been by your side through every test because I believe in you. You can always count on me to meet all of your needs. God tells you that your anxious feelings are not a sign that you don't trust Him at all. He says this in response to your question. I know that you love me and have full faith in what I can do for you. I know there will be times when it's hard to believe, and I also know it's okay for me to be worried about it. Both of these things have been brought to my attention. Since you are a person and people are emotional, you should expect to feel a variety of emotions. You are the apple of my eye because God said it would happen. Your worries, fears, and pain will soon be gone. In their place will be peace, love, healing, and many other good things. I am here for you all the time and in every way you can think of. God is talking to you today and telling you that the next door that opens will put you in a place where you will be able to provide for yourself. You will no longer have to borrow, beg, or fight for what you need no matter if they are successful or not. Anyone who speaks out against you and the path you are on will have their voice stifled when you are going through the pain of being rejected. God was protecting you from something that was going to steal, kill, and ruin your planned outcome. This protection came at the exact time you needed it the most, which was exactly when you needed it the most. Always remember that God has something great planned for you and remind yourself of this thought often. I know the plans I have for you and I promise they are not meant to make your life is harder in any way. Instead, they are meant to give you a better future full of hope and opportunity. I know the plans I have for you, and I promise they are not meant to make your life harder in any way. 
God sees every day as a new battleground that needs to be fought but doesn't give up hope. I will be there with you every day to help you through this. I won't leave you to fight this battle alone. I promise you that I will do everything in my power to make sure you win. 11.11, now that you've hit this point in your life, you're almost done with one chapter. Congratulations, don't worry about anything the next chapter will bring about some. Pretty amazing events, so don't stress out. Type 1111 if you believe it. If God is really paying attention, then I already have everything I need. It is stored up inside of me where it can be accessed whenever I need it in the not-too-distant future. I predict that my style of thinking will go through some transitions and response to new experiences in my perspective, both what you say and what you do carries a tremendous amount of weight. The teaching that God gives us is to place the maximum weight on our own faith rather than the faith of others. This is the most important lesson that God gives us. It will turn out to be the most significant benefit that you can take advantage of at this point in time and you will have access to it. You shouldn't make any type of effort to get ahead of the difficulties that you're going to have to deal with. Since you shouldn't be able to avoid having to deal with them. Even though something isn't currently in your possession, if it is supposed to be yours, it will come to you in some manner whether it be a person, a thing, or an idea. You will begin to see answers to the prayers that you have been asking for beginning this week, so continue doing what it is that you have been doing up until now. Your prayers will be heard and you will receive the answers to the petitions that you have been presenting to God. God said to my precious child, I am going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out everything you have been waiting and praying for. I have been at your side through every difficulty that has come up during the course of your life. I am here for you. I am the one who has been there for you from the very beginning, so have faith in me says the Lord. You have reached a stage where there is no longer a requirement for any more assistance from me at this time. I have been keeping an eye out for you, your family and blessings and everyone else that you care about, and I will keep doing so in the future as well. I am committed to being there for you. I have been making sure to keep track of everything that is occurring for you in recent days. I am here to help you overcome any obstacle that is preventing you from achieving success in life, and I promise to do all in my power to make this a reality for you. I am here to help you succeed in life. In addition, I am aware that you may be suffering from an illness or a substantial amount of pain right at this very now. I am sorry to hear that you are going through this. However, I am the great healer who has come to help you. Please do not give up hope just yet. I will be here to guide you as the Word of God took on flesh in Jesus Christ. The Son of God declared, I am about to transition you from overwhelmed to overflowing as it unfolds your story is evolving into one that is full of happiness, amazing events and good fortune for its characters. 
Because I am your safe haven, nothing in your life can ever put you in danger or cause you to suffer in any way. And there is nothing that ever can. My angels will be at your side. At all times, acting as a shield for you in everything that you do and preventing any kind of harm from approaching you in any way. This protection will be provided regardless of where you are or what you are doing. They will accompany you. God wants you to know that He is always with you, holding your hand and being your guide, but you're not really doing everything by yourself. Even though it may feel that way, I promise I'll never leave you. No matter what, I'll be here with you with my firm grasp on justice that points you in the right direction. I will boost you, help you, and keep you going if you believe in me. I will do amazing things in your life and give you benefits you can't even imagine if you believe in me. I will do amazing things in your life. You, you can depend on me to make these things happen. You just need to trust me as your eternal father. I am very happy to be able to bless you because it brings me one step closer to the purpose. I was created for I pray for you and will continue to pray for you. May God's gifts always be with you. Just remember to trust me and know that I will keep every promise I've made to you before keep your faith in me. Please, in my life, I know that there will be hard times and that these hard times will also include events that are hard to deal with in times of sadness and depression. I'm ready for these times when they come. I'm ready for anything that might happen. Type yes if you believe. On the other hand, I want you to fully understand that you are never alone. This is something that I think is very important. I think this subject has a lot of value for me no matter what you will never be by yourself. I truly promise that I will never ever leave your side. I will always look out for you and guide your actions as you go through the most tough times. I promise I'll always be by your side if you would just let me into your life. I would take away all the pain in your heart and replace it with joy, happiness and peace that will never leave you. All you have to do is accept me into your life if only you would let me into your life. All you have to do is open the door for me to let me into your life. All you have to do is make room for me. That's all that's called for of you. All you have to do is open the door for me. Please move right away as long as people believe in me and follow what I teach them. They will never be thirsty or hungry. I promise that I will always meet all of their needs. People who follow me will never go hungry for those who come to me. There will never be hunger or thirst. I am the living bread. No one who comes to me will ever be happy. People who put their trust in me will always be happy. You will never be thirsty or hungry as long as you trust me and stay by my side. If you believe in me, you will not run out of water. If you choose to follow me, you'll never have to worry about running out of food if you come to me. I will not only meet all of your needs, I will go above and beyond them. All I'd like to talk about what it means to live a life that is extremely wealthy, both in terms of material goods and mental wealth. If I could, 
I would tell you about a life that is very successful. I want to share a life of plenty with you because I want to share a life of many good things. It's my pleasure to introduce you to a very rich way of life seriously. I promise that I will always be here for you, no matter what you have done in the past or what you are going through now. When I say this, I mean it. If you believe in God, come and Amen. Since I can't hold out any longer, I'm standing here with my arms outstretched, ready to give you a hug as soon as you get here. I want to give you a hug when you finally get here, so I'm waiting for you to come to me, and I promise that I will never say no to another one of your wishes. I know that it can be hard for you to trust me sometimes, especially when things are going badly. I know this because I've been where you are now. I know this because I've been where you are now. I know this because I've been where you are now, because I have been in your shoes before I can give you this information. I have been in your shoes before, but please keep in mind that I'm always working very hard behind the scenes, even if you can't see it. I want you to think about it and always remember this. Please, 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 please you won't be doing anything that other people might find rude as part of my plan for your life because of this method. I'm about to talk about with you. You will have hope for the future and a future that makes me very happy to know that you are aware of it. Get ready, my dear child, because I want you to be ready for kindness. I feel that will surprise you by taking steps to make sure you can get better, get promoted, and be fired from your present job. So you can look for other chances. I've done it is still there, even though you can't see it at the moment. Because you put your trust and faith in me, even if it doesn't look like there are any chances for you, I will make them happen. People often feel useless and weak when they have to deal with problems that seem too big for them to handle on their own. All of the problems seem impossible to solve, which is why this is the case. It's important to remember, though, that this is not the first time something like this has happened. Even though we may feel like we are the only ones going through what we are going through at times. It is important to remember that this is never the case when we are having a hard time. It may seem like we are all by ourselves, but the truth is that we are never really alone. The holiness of God's presence is always with us, ready to give us the power and confidence. We need to overcome any obstacle, whatever we need. These forces are always ready to give us strength and confidence. We need to win if we have His unwavering help and direction. We might find the inner strength to keep going, even when things get tough, therefore because of what happened. We are much better and more capable than we were before. Therefore, let us find comfort in the fact that we are never really alone and that with God's help, we can handle any tough situation that comes our way. Another thing that should give us hope is the thought that we can handle any problem that life throws at us. Also, let us find comfort in the fact that we are never really alone. People who are tired and weak can get their strength back from the Almighty. And people who are open and useless can get stronger 
Because they have so many skills, the all-powerful being can make any of these things happen. God bless you. Amen.